Hey everyone, works here. Uh, so just decided to do a vault opening video, which is why not. Already, as you can see, I already got my vault open. This is on my uh, on my Death Knight here. Uh, I already opened up my Feral. Feral is useless. We'll see what happens. Um, so this is what I got in my vault for my Death Knight. Uh, we are now week six of the season three vaults with no tier pieces dropping in vault for me. Um, this Axe of the Dread Grove would be an okay one. I think it's an upgrade over the one that I have by a 22 item level, so um, would be a big upgrade there. And probably move into the main hand because it's slightly higher uh, damage range. This Death God Signet would be a big upgrade on my discarded Artel Al Signet. Uh, drop the verse for a little bit of mastery, which I already have a ton of as it is. Uh, and it's got a socket that I can throw a crit enchant on there. And then Seal of the Prophecy, which I'm probably not, or excuse me, Seal of the Panoply, which I'm probably not going to use, uh, just because it's 252 and pretty low item level. Um, so as of right now, <laughs> uh, just to give you an idea, I've been sitting in this queue for about that length right now, uh, waiting to see what's going on with Top Gear so I can find out which one is the best of the two. So while I'm waiting on that, let's go ahead and move over to my Monk. Discord ping. Hello. We'll see what our monk has here. Hopefully we can get some tier here because then I can become potentially a three-piece gamer because I do have an LFR tier helmet sitting in my item here. So let's see. Let's see. Let's check these right quick. Uh, those are not as good. That's a shitty trinket. That's where my legendary is. So I don't really have a choice but to take the 10 item level drop in order to get Legends of the Grand upwelling. So let me go ahead and quickly screenshot this. Because I like to put it in Discord. I guess I'm taking my leggings of the Grand Upwelling, using that with my LFR helm and LFR legs in order to get my two-piece. And I'm going to recraft Unity somewhere else, so... Let's see, what are the affordable... not leggings. Let's see what the affordable leather pieces are, just to give you an idea here. Uh, vest, uh, boots are actually not that bad right now, and I might do that because that'd be a big upgrade. Let's see. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and buy these boots real quick so that I can recraft unity. Uh, hang on, and then get my first. Mastery missives. And I'll work on going and craft, recrafting Unity into a different slot. Oh, I need the burst gem as well. Uh, do I have that there? No, I did not set it as a favorite. That's something you guys should do, by the way. When you get an item like this, you can right click it and click set favorite. And it'll put it on these like lists right as you open the auction house. Jesus, all the long boys. Long boys, please move. Thank you. And you can see it puts it on these lists and things like that. I need to do it with sharpening stones uh, and bomber's oil. That way, if you buy items really commonly, this is a great way to be able to get them quickly without having to constantly search for them. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and work on getting all this done. Uh, just a quick update on the channel, guys. Uh, I put out a tweet on my Twitter account. You can go there, twitter.com slash works underscore wow. 
uh, where basically, if I said I got to 500 subs on YouTube or 75 followers on Twitch before the end of May, I would be doing a stream, uh, probably a birthday stream, also probably a long stream, wearing a luchador mask the whole time. I'm a big fan of wrestling, love Lucha Libre, so um, no accents or anything like that because cultural appropriation is trash, but you know, just put on a Lucha Libre mask with my glasses over them so that way I can still see. Um, so. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you want to see me wearing a luchador mask while streaming World of Warcraft, sub to the, both to the Twitch and follow the Twitch channel. Help me reach those goals by the end of May. Uh, birthday is in June, so that would happen late in June. Um, I'm working on the Frost Death Knight script now so that I can have that video up this week, and then I'll be doing Blood and Unholy not long after that. Um, I will do a Feral Guide, even though I'm not going to be playing much of the Feral Druid lately. I actually want to get back into my Hunter as a third character, so we'll be doing that. And I'll be doing guides on Hunter as well, again, this patch, so uh, that's, what, seven videos that I've got coming out, hopefully over the next six or seven weeks, or hopefully over the next seven to eight weeks. Um, so definitely try to get those up as fast as possible for you guys. I appreciate your patience with me as I've been a little bit slower in making videos than I wanted to be this expansion or this, uh, this calendar year, so to speak. So until the next video, all, I hope you're all staying safe, and I will see you all next time.